Okay, this is a test with the Jeep Panasonic GH5S camera at Mount Pinos, California. We're staring at uh, part of the Milky Way galaxy constellation Cygnus right now. You can see that little hump-shaped line of stars kind of in the middle of the field. I've got a uh, Voigtlander 42.5mm f.95 Nocton lens on front set wide open. And what I'm going to do here is play with the ISO. Currently we're running, I'm sorry, the shutter speed. Currently we're at a 30th of a second shutter. The ISO is way up there at 102,400. I can move things around, and I got quite a few stars, right? And what I'm going to do is fiddle with the shutter speed. I'm going to slow it way, way, way down, and we'll see what we get. So, 30th, 25th, 20th, 30th, 25th, 15th, 13th, 10th, 8th. 6th. That's probably enough. And if I pan now, everything gets jerky, right? But I can see a lot of stuff. And I see there's a light fall off at the uh, outer edges of the field. That's probably a lens thing, fast lens. If I go up, I'm going to come across the constellation Lyra. And the big bright star is Vega. The parallelogram with medium bright stars is Lyra. The Lyra parallelogram. Well, that looks way better than uh, Naked Eye. My, my, my magnification here is about one and a half x, by the way. If I go back down to, uh, see, we're sitting at a sixth of a second shutter. Let's go take it back to a thirtieth. Sixth, eighth, tenth, thirteenth, fifteenth. I'm going to hold it there for a second. Fifteenth of a second shutter and go back down. And. That's not real bad for real time-ish, but it's, I really would like to get it more like 20th, between 20th and a 30th. That's still kind of jerky. So if we go back to 20th, 25th, okay, that's pretty smooth when you're panning, right? So I'm panning towards the, uh, what, westernly direction into the south, because I was initially staring to the east. You can see some clouds there, right? Those are clouds of the Milky Way. It's kind of sitting on the eastern horizon. This would be the southeastern horizon here. Keep moving a little bit. Yeah, there should still be Milky Way clouds showing up behind the trees. Go back up for a second. There's supposed to be another band of Milky Way. It's kind of showing. With some star clusters. So like... Uh, 25th of a second shutter. I mean, she's working. Got a pretty fast lens on here. And there may be a bit of haze out there tonight in the sky. Plus, this thing's pointing pretty low. She's, what, 35, 40 degrees off the horizon. Uh, as the night wears on, the Milky Way will get higher, and I might try this again later. We'll see if I want to stay that light. It's like 12.30 in the morning right now. But anyway, a little uh, Milky Way pan with some shutter speed variation. Here's the Milky Way again, so I think I'll call that a wrap, because this is getting a little long already. Let's just get down to the tree line again. Definitely some star clouds there. Right there. Okay, we'll call that it. Just testing out the camera. That's it.